Good morning. Morning, everyone. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I got carried away. I got carried away listening to something on YouTube. How can you be so silly? Um, but it was good. If you get a chance to see it, um, it was someone auditioning for Americans Got Talent, three lads that had met about days beforehand, and they were fantastic. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> I got digressed. So now, uh, chances are there may well be a knock at the door, so bear with me because I am on my own again today. So if there is, I must go. However, in the meantime, I am going to be working with some dies. I think we ought to call Wednesday something like um, Wake It Up Again Wednesday or Wandering, I don't know, something, something, because I'd like to revisit some things. So these were Southie, these are Southie squares. They come in a um, selection of six dies altogether. And they cut out squares. Um, there's also a cheeky little rectangle in there as well. Um, but I thought I would make some twisted cards with them. So that's what I'm going to go for with that. I'm also going to be using some of the um, pearlescent watercolour um, inks from Cosmic Shimmer because I really like those. I prefer, I must say, the pearlescent ones which have mica beyond belief in them. Um, let me just show you. Can you see that? All of that at the bottom is pure mica and when that is shaken up um, it just, I don't know, it's just absolutely full of it. So it needs a jolly good old shake until hopefully you can hear that there's some um, ball bearings in it. So there you go. Can you see now that that's changing the colour as you start to shake it? Anyway, so we digress. I'm also going to be using um, a stamp set, which is actually from... Um, bring it there so you can see it. It's actually from um, some stamps that were out with John next door. Oh, there we go. Told you that. Excuse me. I told you that that would be there. Sorry, I just knew that would be there, didn't I? Glad you're talking about talking amongst yourselves there. <laughs> right, okay. So this lovely um stamp set was from some stamps that really were limited edition. And unfortunately, I didn't get any of them to be able to sell to you. But they are gorgeous and I use them a lot. So today that's what I'm gonna be using. So I can't get that, but the other stuff I can get. So let us, without further ado, I'm taking the three largest and I'm taking a piece of white card, which I'm popping onto my um, die cutting plate. So you might be able to see they have got very fine detail of lots of little dots, which is very pretty. And... I like that sort of style there. So I'm just going to stick these down so they don't move in too much of a position. Just don't want them to cross over each other. That's all really. And I'll pop that through the machine. There we go. My poor old machine. So. Oh, 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 oh. I was actually going to do something a little bit different with this, but then I decided that this one lent itself to what, what I wanted to do with it. So that's what we're going for. So as you can see, when I take that die off, it has left you with all these little dots all the way around. Just need to poke a few out. Um, but that leaves you with a very pretty line, I thought. And these ones as well. So we've got 
three sizes, three of the six dies there. Not much waste. That's what we like to see. So I'm just going to make sure that they're all out of that one. Just a couple of little ones here. Uh, there. And then just in this corner. And that is the quality of these dies, that they literally have all that fine detail and it has come out sort of, you know, I'm going to sit there poking all out, that all out, which is a bonus. So I'm now going to take my um, stamping platform and I'm going to put my papers on in a bit of a funny position. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put down the biggest one and that's going to be as a square you know literally straight on then I'm going to take the next size and I'm going to put that one at a bit of an angle something like that and then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to put that at another bit of an angle like that so I've just got the first one is straight on but the other two are just a bit crazy so I'm then going to take my clear sheet just to protect it and then this is the big die so it I mean the seam dies would look lovely with this or any big flower dies but you do need quite a large die in order to do this I'm going to end up with a six by six card um I think that just looks about right so I'm going to pop that so that that covers as much as I can of my stamp and then I'm going to pick that up and then I'm going to take off my clear sheet and I'm going to use memento ink and I'm going to stamp that, ink this all up. So a nice black ink and um, I'm going to be doing a watercolour and so I will need it to be a watercolour resistant one. But I have got the card I'm using is a super smooth card. It's not a watercolour card. You would get a slightly different look with that. So I'm then going to press it down and I'm going to do it with my fingers as opposed to sometimes using it with my, um, I don't know what I call it, cubby, whatever. This, this is what I'm talking about, this, which just goes over like that. Um, I just want to make sure that I have got it in all of the areas, not just because I'm going, sometimes I'm going through three sort of pieces, okay? Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to pick that up, I'm going to pop that to one side, and you can see that I've now got a triple layered one. So I'm just going to take those apart. Okay, so you can see that I have now got a very odd looking thing here. So now I want to back it with a little bit of black because I want to make it pop a little bit. So I'm going to take my black piece of card and I'm going to have to cut this. So I'm going to just measure them on my board here. And we will see that this one measures just under the 13, so 12.7. So I'm going to go up by three, so that's going to be a 13 by 13 piece of black card to start off with. That's centimetres, of course. So 13 by 13, so that's my piece for there, like that. And I'm going to take my next one down and measure that. And that one is 10.2. So I'm going to go to add another three um, millimetres onto that. So 10 and a half, just under, just under 10 and a half. I'm going to get that with an even border all the way round. And then my smallest piece is 8.6. Uh, sorry, 7.7, .7, so that needs to be an 8 centimetre piece all the way around as well. So that just gives us a little black border 
all the way around. And because I've um, inked in black, it just makes that pop a little bit more. Okay, so you can see then that I've just got that little border like that, which I think looks quite nice. So before I pop all these together, I'm going to do a little bit of colouring. So I'm going to take my, in this case, passionately pink, and I'm going to colour with that. I'm going to use a water brush, but it's a dry water brush. I don't want to water the colour down. The beauty of all these inks are that they are already watered down. So they're not like an ordinary palette of colours, watercolours. They are already watered down. And so you just simply, as I say, just shake that up. You can see now that that, I'll show you what that was before and after. That literally is the mica sitting in the bottom and that is just, it shaken up. So I'm just going to, it's got a little pump action at the top and I'm just going to pump a little bit of that up and just pop that onto my acrylic block because that makes life easier for me. And I just want to colour this middle bit. I'm not going to colour the other two pieces, just this middle section. I'm going to take a small amount, just a small amount, and I'm going to start from the base nearest to the centre of the flower and then just pull that out. So I'm not going to do any shading or anything clever like that. And I'm not going to be particularly worried about getting all of the colour so that I'm, you know, blah, blah. if I leave a little bit of white, I'm not going to panic over it. I just want to get this down. And I'm also going to turn my piece of card around. Again, I find that easier to do rather than try and um, work upside down. I just prefer to move the piece of card because it's not a big piece of card. So uh, we can manage. So I'm um, starting at the base and moving up. I find that's easier for me to work with. I'm not sure if you can see that, but can you see the sheen on that? It's so pretty, so pretty. Um, I mean, obviously you could colour in any shape or form with these. Um, you could use your watercolour brushes, you could use crayons, your alcohol markers, any way of colouring the image. But I thought with a nice pretty flower like this, we would try these inks again. I love them. There are some different colours around at the moment and they're all available over on the Maximum Crafts website. Um, they're under the Facebook Live section, but they're always uh, also under the Cosmic Shimmer. Um, just going to pop a little bit of colour there. So I'm just going to colour in, in this instance, just the petals, because I think that just looks quite effective. So the main part of my image is going to be in this centrepiece. But again, if you used a scene, scene dies would look lovely. Um, all sorts, all sorts. And as I said, this image is actually from some stamp sets that were back in about January or February, um, which were a limited edition. And unfortunately, I didn't get any of those. But I know that lots of you did from the TV. So um, if you have got them, you can always grab them out of your stash and use them. We have got um, the box kit magazine thing with Bob coming up very, very soon. And um, I am able to get that. So I, I will be getting that. And there's some beautiful stuff in there. And I think you're going to like it. It actually launches next week. Um, but there will be some beautiful die sets to go with it as well. So something exciting to look forward to. So I'm just nearly there, I'm just picking up all of these. And as I said, I'm not going to the very edge. Um, I'm just going in quite randomly. I've got a bit, um, 
uh, more comfortable with leaving a little bit of white and not thinking that I've got to do it right to the edge and get it absolutely correct. I just, that leaves me okay now. Whereas I used to have to think, oh gosh, I've got to get it all and make sure I don't go over the lines and all that sort of palaver. Um, but yeah, so now I'm because I want impact with mine, I'm actually not going to colour in the centres and the green um, parts of my flower. I'm just going to colour in my actual um, petals. So I just want, because I want that little bit of impact there. Just wipe that off a bit, pop that back on. But as you can see, look at that sheen. It's really, really, really pretty. And because I've put it on from the base out, you will find that you'll have more mica in that pos position right down at the bottom. So again, it gives it a really lovely effect. So going to pop these now onto each of the squares. So I'm just going to pop some glue onto the back. And oh, stored the bottle up the right way, you see. She has a little bit of glue. I'm just going to try and centre that if I possibly can. And the Cosmic Shimmer paints dry fairly quickly, but I'm trying not to touch them just in case they've not gone. Now I've chosen not to colour these pieces. Again, I think you'll see with a finished piece that I think it looks better not coloured. But if you wish in yours, of course, you could colour them. And if you were doing a scene, you might want to do more of a colour rather than the spotlight. And then finally, this piece. And again, just a little bit of glue. Into the centre there as well. And again, that just gives it a tiny border all the way round. Okay. Uh, what were you not finding them? Uh, sorry, I've just seen that you wanted something. And I don't know what it was. What was it that you wanted? Um, the clear sheets. The clear sheets are these, I think, is what you're talking about. They are Crafts 2, and I think they come under Clear Template or Acetate Template, and there are 10 in a pack, if that's what you were looking for. I'm not 100% sure, but if that's what it was. Now, okay. I have got my pieces put together here and I'm now going to bring in my six by six card. However, of course, because it is a man-made, <laughs> a pre-made card, it isn't actually six by six. It's about five and three quarters. But nevertheless, it works well because that one will go in there like that. OK, so I'm actually going to pop this this one down. Now, when I say it goes in like that, you will recall that the picture was with a um, leaf area here, um, what should we call it, area here. And so I'm going to make sure that that is down in my corner there. So I'm going to stick this one straight down, but I want to put foam on the other two pieces. So I'm just going to stick that down like that. Okay. So that one is flat on my card with my stems and leaves down in this corner. So I'm going to put some tape onto the back of these, some foam. So foam onto those pieces. And I'm going to use the two millimetre foam. And I'm just going to put sort of three bits on there. this one into position. And we've got to just get it back into position. So my leaves were down here and I can then just pop that so that that fits in there. Back into position there. And then 
a little bit of tape onto the back here. And then this one goes on the top. So it's a really, really simple, whoops, a really, really simple card here. Now I just need to position that one. So I'm going for my stems like that. And then I'm just twisting it around so that the tiny little bits that are here are on the very tiny little bits here. So, and then we should be in exactly the same position. Just checking. I think we are, yeah, going to go for it. Oh, the mic is coming off of my hand. So, you have got a very pretty twisted card. So, in the past, I've done a similar sort of thing and I've kept my squares, um, these squares, I've kept them absolutely like that. And that is sort of like your triple um, layered card. But I thought, let's twist it a bit and let's give it a different angle. Now, obviously, if you wanted a sentiment to go on there, um, you're a little bit limited. Just having a look. I have got some. Hold on a second. I have got, and these would look quite nice, um, some of these little, little words here. So, um, I'm going to actually cut out the congratulations. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because my daughter-in-law-to-be passed her exams to become a biochemist patent lawyer yesterday. Um, so... Congratulations to Abby, and I reckon that my little congratulations could go just down there. I think I'll pop a little bit of foam on the back. Um, yeah, she, it's, uh, if anyone doesn't know what it is, because I certainly didn't, a, a biochemist patent lawyer has been a lot to do with um, the... Covid jabs and things like that. That if anyone comes into the country and says that they've got the most wonderful um, inoculation or, or any sorts of chemistry type things, they would come to a company like the one that Abby works for. And I hope I'm getting this right. And um, the, they would be able to go through all the legal things to make sure that all is well. And so. Um, she's been very, very busy, as you can imagine. And then training, it's a four year training. This was her final exam. And um, it was actually called off last year because of the COVID. And she had to wait a whole year before she could take it. So I'm very, very pleased and proud of her and for her for being able to do such a thing under awful circumstances, the same as anyone that's having to do exams just at in this last year it's been a bit of a nightmare for everyone hasn't it so congratulations to abby and i hope that she likes this little card i will pop it in the post to her um so southy squares comes in a set of six dies so they are available over on the website and if you fancy having a go with some lovely glossy shiny cards uh, shiny inks. It's the water cosmic shimmer watercolor inks. Pearlescent ones are the ones that do shine like that, but there are a couple that are not pearlescent. But there's a huge range of different colors. The one I used today was passionately pink. So there you go. <laughs> now, a little bit of news to tell you. So um, on uh, Saturday, I have um, a workshop, a technique workshop with some of my ladies and we will be working with the John Next Door Tartan dye. So they are hopefully all looking forward to that and that's going to be great. Now on Sunday, I will be here at 11 o'clock on Sunday, except I won't be live 
um, because I have messed up with some tickets that I thought that we were supposed to be going the following weekend, and it's not this weekend. I thought we were going on the Saturday somewhere, and I got it wrong. So um, I will be doing a live uh, a video for you, and I will be using some of the new Sue Wilson festive collection, which came out yesterday. And I will be showing you some um, te new techniques with it. It will be a live, uh, sorry, it won't be live. It will be a YouTube video that will be live for you to look at at 11. It won't be there beforehand, but it isn't one that is actually live. So, um, or as always, you can catch up with it at any time, but just to pre-warn you so that um, you know, okay? So, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, I'm glad you're all sorry. I just noticed your things. Yes, congratulations to our lovely Abby. Yeah. So, um, thank you very much for joining me today. And as I said, a very simple card, but I think it looks very pretty. And you could use it in any different colours. Um, would again make it pop. Um, some of the scene stamps would look fabulous with this. I was tempted to do the scene stamps, but I thought, no, I, I'm always doing the scene stamps. But i um, just trying to grab one if I've got one here. No, I haven't. I'm tempted to do one of them as well, but I won't, I won't, because you've had enough now. You've been sitting there for half an hour, like wonderful people that you are, um, and yeah, <laughs> you don't need to see me fiddling again, but I might fiddle later and pop that one up as well because it just lends itself. Haven't got to think about the sizes, just cut them out, just pop them on a white piece of card and stamp stamp your um, image on there, whatever it is. Okay, so as I said, looking forward to seeing lots of people on Saturday and hopefully you'll be able to make it on Sunday to watch um, the festive collection. And then on top of that, we've got next week, we've got the wonderful box kit coming out, which is absolutely beautiful. And I'm pleased to say I did manage to get to, um, to do some of the samples on that one. So uh, rather proud of that as well. So take care, everyone. Have a good day. The sun is shining here. I hope it's shining on you. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.